In this episode, you will learn how to use JChem for Excel functions and calculate physico-chemical properties. Start with this simple table containing IDs, chemical structures as text and some calculated data. You can see the compounds are in different input formats. There is an IPAC name, a CAS registry number, a SMILE string, a traditional name, and another SMILES. These will be used as input for calculations. Let's create a log D pH chart for these molecules. It's not necessary to convert them to a structure object, as you can directly calculate from any supported chemical input source. You need to create a table of log D values for the chart. You will create the table here. Copy the structure names and paste them transposed. So you have the log D values of the structures as columns. Copy over the molecular formulae from the structure table as well. They will serve as a legend of the chart. You can do this with the IDs instead if you prefer. You also need some pH values. Choose one step increments and go all the way up to pH 14. This is Excel's built-in functionality to recognize a pattern and copy it down to 14 cells. As a next step, you insert the JChem log D function to calculate the distribution coefficient of the molecules at a given pH. There are a couple of ways to do this. If you don't know the name of the JChem function to use for a particular calculation or the arguments it takes, click the link in the description of this video and learn how to insert JChem functions into your worksheet. This time you will use the JC log D function. Select the first cell in your table and start typing equals JC log. The JC stands for JChem. You will find all JChem for Office related functions and calculations by this prefix. In this case, you go for the first option, JC log D. Double clicking inserts the function into the selected cell, just like it would with any other Excel worksheet function. This function requires two parameters, an input structure and a pH value, and returns log D at the given pH. You will select the first structure from the top and the first pH value from the left. The formula is ready. Hit enter or click anywhere out of the cell to perform the calculation. This formula cannot be copied to adjacent cells yet because you have to tell Excel to fix the row for input structures and the column for input pH values. You can do this by adding the dollar sign at the appropriate positions. Double click the log D value and edit the cell references. Once again, for the structure parameter, you want to fix the row and for the pH, fix the column. Instead of typing dollars, click the cell reference and press F4. This will place the dollars automatically and will circulate through all combinations if you repeatedly press F4. If you did it all correctly, you can use the fill handle, the little black square in the bottom right corner of the selected cell to smart copy the formula to cells to the right. You now have the first row of the log D table calculated. For the rest of the rows, use the fill handle again. Double clicking will calculate log D for the entire table. This may take a while. You can follow the progress of the calculation in the status bar. Now that it has completed, double check the inserted formulae. Double clicking any of the log D values in the table will highlight the input parameters. The last cell is looking good, so it must be correct for the entire table. One last thing to do, a scatter plot for log D at different pHs. Select the entire table together with the molecular formulae and pH values, your column and row headers, then select insert on the Excel ribbon and pick a scatter chart from the charts library. I prefer the design of scatter with smooth lines and markers. As a finishing touch, convert the input molecules to actual rendered structures. The JChem tab in the ribbon has a direct function for this, called from any text under the data conversion group. You can also beautify the chart like I did. Thank you for watching. For more tutorial videos and updates from ChemAxon, stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel.